Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Zoe. And his name is Victor, he's tired. So welcome back to our channel. Today's vlog is a mixture of everything. As you can see, we have moved. But that's for that. But today I want to start by saying that I'm using my husband's phone to vlog. That's because my phone was stolen at work. Sorry for another day. So please, in case anybody wants to send to you a Samsung 812, be covering yourself with the blood of Jesus because I, this way I put on top of that phone. Plenty. It's plenty. <laughs> Just pray and cover yourself with the blood of Jesus because that's the only thing that will escape, make you escape what I've pronounced. The pronouncements are pronounced. Back to the topic, yes and yes. So we have moved and we moved in on a weekend. Some things are still left to be done, but this is it. We thank God for his faithfulness. So the gist of today about bad neighbors. Hmm. So I'm a lover of privacy. First of all, I'm a lover of privacy. And this place gives us that privacy. But then, since you don't have money to own your own house yet, we have to deal with neighbors. So whenever I'm moving to a new place, I like praying for good neighbors because the level of comfort and peace you enjoy with your neighbor can determine how long you stay in a place for the place where we are moving from we really enjoyed that we didn't have issues i think there was an issue one time but it wasn't serious mm -hmm. and then after that everybody we just became all cool and all that all of that but moving on to this place okay like i was saying sorry i always pray for good neighbors and one funny thing is that while well, praying for good neighbors, also pray for yourself to be a good neighbor. Why am I saying this? I we moved in here on a Saturday on a weekend. So all of the whole moving thing happened that week. Then about a week after, which is another weekend, we were trying to prepare breakfast, which was on a Sunday. We had a light out. Imagine the way Nepal decides to welcome us to this place. And I have stuff in my freezer. But we had light out for since Friday. The last time we saw light was on Friday. Saturday, no light Sunday. So Sunday I was in the kitchen trying to prepare lunch. I had already gone to the uh, market to get things to cook. But I had gone to the market, right? Mm -hmm. The day we noticed that there was no water. Mm -hmm. Did you go? Okay, I hadn't. I had, yes. I had gone to the market, I bought fresh vegetables and everything. So okay, I put yeah, it in the yeah, sink, yeah. yes. I put yeah, it in the yeah. sink and I was about to wash it and then I discovered that the water was finishing. Mm -hmm. And there was no light. Quickly I told my husband, because we have this big black rubber. Is it 3,000 liter? How many thousand? Nine. One thousand, nine, 90 liter. Mm. Okay, the 90 liter drum. Ah, you see. Okay, yeah, maybe. Okay, the 90 liter drum, big black drum, that we store water so that within the period where there is no light, or before they use gen to pump the water, also we'll have, we'll have water to use. So I, because of how late we moved the previous week, we could not fill up that drum. So when I noticed that the water was almost finishing from the tap, I couldn't even, I had really soaked the vegetable, I had not washed the tomato, I have not done anything. I just told my husband, I was like, ah, boo boo, we didn't fill up that black drum. Let's go and, <laughs> should I go and fill it up? He said, I should, I should go and put it. The water was already dripping small, small. So I rushed to the back. The drum was already clean. I went, I connected the hose to the tap at the back and then I connected it to the drum. It was dripping, it wasn't much. Now, while it, the water was dripping into the drum, I went back to the kitchen and I kept preparing other things. Then I went out to check. It was dropping, like droplets of water. And then I saw one of the neighbor by, at the back. And I greeted her. She greeted me, no issues and all. But at that point, I started feeling bad. Now, when I do things sometimes, I used to ask, God, please help me. Holy Spirit, help me. Help me to do the right thing. And when I'm not doing the right thing, convict me. <laughs> I don't know why I did not get any conviction until it had already happened. What am I trying to say? 
the moment I saw her at the back, she was trying to get water from the other tap, the, the one that they used to wash cars. I just felt what I was doing was wrong. There is no water, and the water is coming out small, small. And the only thing that will come to my house, to my head, is to go and fill one big drum of 90 liters. Meanwhile, we have about four apartments that are sh using the same water with us. Yes, there's a possibility of maybe they also have drum too that they have seen. But what if there was no, they don't have that type of arrangement? So I will now use the whole water and fill. The water had already finished by the time I went there. Like it couldn't even, there was no, what entered into the drum, I couldn't even use it. It's not even up to it. Maybe like one cup or two cups of water. So at that point, I felt bad. Not because the water I had gotten was much, but I just had a rethink of everything. I was like, no, I was supposed to, if I'm to be considerate, this same water thing is affecting everybody. I'm going to feel the whole, the big drum as my own way out is being selfish. Maybe I would have used maybe like a rubber. I would say, okay, this will serve us till the pump water. Funny thing is that not too long after that, let's say two hours or three hours after, they had used this they used the solar to pump water and there was water for everybody so what am i trying to say in trying to get in praying for good neighbors also ask god to help me also ask god to guide you not to be a bad neighbor yourself she didn't have a problem with it she didn't even I, i'm not even sure she noticed me fetching water from that drop but this is just between myself and i being convicted well my problem is why would did the conviction not come when i thought about fetching the water but whichever way i'm glad that came to mind and i hope that whatever i said now has been able to encourage someone in be praying for good neighbors try and be a good neighbor yourself it's not easy it's not like i'm a nice person but i try my best and i try my best to do what god <laughs> leads me to do well please let's try to be self not to say selfless but also have other people in consideration when we are doing things i don't want this video to be too long that was the whole gist i'm just doing my phone missing and the, being the bad neighbor in this situation <laughs> may god help us all i love you guys thanks for stopping by give this video a thumbs up drop your comments do you have you had similar issues the do, do you think i'm overthinking this thing do you think if you were in the same position, you would have rushed out to fetch water? It's a normal thing to do, but I just had to rethink about it. No too much talk. Oh, but come and bring your face again, my sleeping snow white. <laughs> come and say hello now. Hello. Guys, the world, there's no light till mm. now. There's still no light. Look at your Ooh. eyes. There's still no light. It's been five, six days. I have my thesis to complete. God, God should just help me. Forget this colored wig. Guys, what do you think about my wig? I've not, I, okay, there was a time I was wearing it out, but I've not worn it out for a long time. So I just decided to wear it today to vlog. Thanks for stopping by. I love you. I remain Doris J. Kani. This is Inala Trend. <laughs>